Hi everyone, Missilla here. Beautiful sunny day here in the Pacific Northwest. It's been warm. We haven't had rain for a couple of weeks, so it's been pretty dry. But I don't mind because all my warm loving plants, such as the tomatoes, peppers, beans, and zucchinis, are doing great, as well as the pumpkin patch. So today I'm going to go over with what you can plant for your fall garden or what I'm growing for my fall garden. So I went ahead and sowed my peas about 10 days ago, and they've already sprouted, as well as some as well as some bushes beads so you want to count back from the first day of your frost and see how many weeks left you have before the first day of frost hits especially if you're trying to grow some frost tender plants that could be killed by frost but pretty much what you can grow for your fall garden is the same crops that you can grow in your spring garden so any of the cool weather crops such as leafy greens like lettuces spinach kale um, bok choy all of the brassica plants, those do well in the fall in a fall garden, as well as peas, um, sweet peas or yontel peas, and even some beans. So they can mature within 60 to 75 days. So if you get your legumes, like the peas and beans in the ground right now, you could be harvesting some before the first day of frost. And also, you can even um, sow some uh, root crops, carrots, radishes so those can go on the ground between now and next month so as the weather cools they will do better so um, as well as carrots did I say carrots already I'm not sure so anyways these are just some of the crops that I'll be growing in our fall garden and I will provide a list below for you that way you don't forget oh and I've also sowed my cilantro seeds already and they've already sprouted so that's another cool weather herbs that you can grow as well as chives so even some spring onions and when you get closer um, to fall or before frost, that's when you want to plant some garlic cloves in the ground before the first day of frost. So there are, those are just some few things that you can start planning on for your fall garden. Let me know what you're planning on growing and maybe it's something that I haven't grown before. I'd love to know what you have planned out for your fall garden. So anyways, let me show you what's sprouting already and um, we'll take a look. So here are my oriental peas. It's been about 10 12 days and they have grown already they're about four inches tall now i also sowed some more nasturtiums these are the vine types so it'll climb the trellis so these grow um, pretty well and most soils they're not very picky so and they don't require that, require that much sun so they'll do well in part shade here are some bush beans. So I sowed these about 12 days ago as well. So they're popping up already. So since we're in the middle of summer, you might want to keep your uh, soil moist so that way the seeds will germinate if you're planting them right now. There's more right there. These are actually pole beans. I don't know if I said bush beans, so they will be climbing this trellis right here. On the other side of this trellis and garden bed are some more oriental peas. Here are some cilantro seeds that I sowed about 10 days ago. So they're already popping up already. I've got them here in the shade. So they get about probably four or five hours of sun. Cilantro can thrive in part shade and also do well during the cool season. So I have them here in the shade. That way they don't get scorched by the sun. I planted them next to our basil plants since they both require similar growing conditions. They both like moist soil and during the summertime they both do well in the shade and also in this spot i've got some dahlia and you know i just read about them that the petals are edible as well as their tubers so i'm not planning on eating them maybe using some flowers for um, decorating a cake perhaps but i usually keep the tubers i overwinter them indoors that way they don't freeze i just love having them in the garden here are some spring onions. These are from cuttings right here. So I never bought any seeds. These are just from the scraps that I purchased from the supermarket over two months ago now. And I just cut them back and they just keep producing for me. So they do well in the fall also. These are my chives right there in that pot. I've got some more onion scraps that I'm regrowing. If you guys watched any of those videos, just trying to regrow onions from scraps. And here is some Italian parsley. 
they actually do well in the fall because they actually require moist, moist soil just like cilantro and basil. Here are some young kale plants. I sowed the seeds about two and a half months ago. So this is another great leafy green that you can grow for your fall garden. You can harvest the baby leaves as early as 30 days or you can let them mature up to 60 days. Here's the remaining of our romaine lettuce. So this is another leafy green that you can sow and you can harvest the young leaves as early as 30 days as well as spinach, so um, even bok choy. So there are many leafy greens that you can sow right now between now and August and even September and harvest the, the baby greens for eating. So a couple of lettuces are bolting here. I think this is butter lettuce and here's one of our romaine lettuce. So we'll be getting some more seeds. So, so far, that's what's growing in the garden. I'll be sowing some lettuce seeds soon, more kale, spinach in the next few weeks. And also, if you haven't grown kale before, they are very cold hardy. Um, one of the um, cold hardy crops that you can grow throughout the winter. And they are biennial, so they'll keep producing for you until next spring. So, I hope that you guys found this video helpful and enjoyed it. And by the way, I'm on Instagram if you don't know yet. I post pictures there, there daily. So, if you haven't checked out my Instagram page, I'll provide the link below. And also my Facebook um, page, as well as our, our Facebook community group if you want to join us and show us your gardening photos or videos or knowledge. That would be great. So, thank you so much again for joining me. Have a happy gardening.